staring your hunter right in the eyes, losing your most loved one, or getting a morbid disease with no cure. Nature can get pretty terrifying for animals, from deers with zombie viruses to suffering ruthless mamba bites. Today, we are discussing the tragic lives of animals that nature has treated unfairly. Maneuver that immobilizes shark. Sharks are cold-blooded beings, but have a simple flaw. If you rotate them upside down, they go into a trance-like state. This is the tonic immobility maneuver, and it happens because a shark's brain releases a chemical called serotonin when it's spun upside down. While serotonin makes us humans a little more focused, it immobilizes sharks, forcing them to remain still for a while. This little trick helps sea divers avoid dangerous sharks, but some also do it just for fun. Although I wouldn't recommend doing it on your own, this trick requires a little professional know-how, so it's best to skip swimming with the sharks unless you're well-trained. Left Coil Shell Snail Jeremy the snail went viral a few years ago for having a rare left coil shell. If you didn't know, about 95% of all snails have their shells and reproductive organs on the right. And while having a lefty shell is rare, it's not exactly a good thing for the snail. This is because left-coiled snails are unable to mate with right-coiled snails, meaning they might not be able to pass on their legacy. Jeremy the snail couldn't find a mate for years. He was quite lonely. But the world united and found him the perfect partner. Lefty, another rare left-coiled snail. They now have 56 children. Wildebeest stuck together. Imagine being unable to escape your predator simply because you're glued to whatever it's eating at the moment. This wildebeest's biggest nightmare just came true. Two wildebeests had locked their horns, but before they could make an escape, a pack of hyenas had pounced and begun to eat one of them. The other had no choice but to remain still, hoping the hyenas would let go. To be unable to escape is one thing, but to see a mate being eaten alive? That's something straight out of a horror movie. Lioness bit by Black Mamba. The Black Mamba resides in South Africa, so not many know about the horrifying snake. A vicious creature sent by nature to destroy anything that comes in its path. If you think I'm exaggerating, take a look at this poor lioness suffering from a horrendous Black Mamba bite. The mamba's bite is so painful, it feels like lava flowing through the veins. The suffering lioness is shivering badly and appears breathless. From a distance, her cubs watch, but they can't help because even they are terrified of the mamba. Deer with arrow in the face. Do you ever get a cough that never goes away? Or perhaps an itch that you can never scratch? Well, if that sounds annoying enough, Picture a deer that got shot in the face with an arrow and miraculously survived. People who found the deer called local services, who cut off the top bolt, but professionals said they couldn't remove the entire arrow, simply because it could do more harm than good. They hoped the arrow would slip out on its own. Ugh, and I thought I was having a bad day. Trunkless Elephant This is Chilema a Zambian elephant that lost half its trunk because of a poacher's snare. Chilima was only a little calf when she fell into a poacher's trap, and although she escaped, she had to endure a lot. An elephant's trunk isn't just a long nose. It helps the elephant pick food up, and Chilima was unable to eat because of her injury. Thankfully, Chilima soon learned to use her half trunk, which took a long time. And although Chilima emerged victorious, her story teaches us the harms of poaching. Giraffe with Twisted Neck Did you know giraffes give birth standing up? But what happens if they decide to sit instead? This. Because giraffes have extremely long necks, they need a lot of height to come out safely. This is why almost all giraffes give birth when standing. But if they don't, they risk crushing or injuring their newborns, just like this male giraffe, which was born with a kink in his neck. The twist in the neck isn't just tissue, but bones that molded the minute the baby was born. 
and although it doesn't hurt the giraffes, it can make life pretty uncomfortable. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Deer Frozen Upright Winters can be pretty cruel in some places in the world, and this unfortunate deer learned the hard way. Locals found a deer trapped in ice, but frozen to bits. The deer was standing upright, suggesting it had either dug deep into the snow or sunk into muddy ground, but was unable to get out. Some even theorized the deer was hit by a car moments before it froze. However the deer fell is a mystery, but let's hope it was buried somewhere warm so we could rest in peace. Fish with tongue-eating parasite. You'd think the only threat to a harmless fish would be bigger fish, like sharks or maybe orcas. But nature isn't lacking when it comes to annoyingly small threats. This is a fish infected by the Simothwa exigua, a small louse that replaces the tongue of a fish. The parasite enters a fish through the gills, harms the blood vessels of the tongue, causing it to shrivel and rot, and then the parasite replaces the tongue living in the fish's mouth and even helping it eat. But when the fish passes away, the parasite leaves in search of a new host. Well, new fear unlocked, I guess. Lion gored by buffalo. This lioness was spotted in Masai Mara and was suffering from a horrible injury. It seemed Sienna the lioness had tried to attack a buffalo, but was surprisingly rebuffed. The buffalo had apparently attacked Sienna, who was a mother of three, and gotten away with a pretty big chunk of her. Sienna could barely move, so the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust stepped in. The team tranquilized Sienna, and then operated on her. And while this is a story with a happy end, it gives us a glimpse into the terrors of nature. Snake ate itself. This snake just took you are what you eat to another level. The speckled king snake was captured on camera, eating itself. The snake had swallowed most of its tail and was close to eating its head off. Luckily, the owner was able to help the snake vomit out its tail by applying a little hand sanitizer. But why did the snake eat itself in the first place? Well, you can give the credits to Mother Nature. Snakes eat other snakes. This legless fella decided to chomp down on a snake too. Only, it was not any other snake, but himself. Seems weird, but it happens more often than you think. Giraffe with Hole Giraffes already have a tough life balancing their heads on a long neck, but this poor giraffe had it worse. A giraffe seen at the Kapama Private Game Reserve in Kruger Park had a hole right above its throat, so any time it tried to drink water, the water would just flow out of the hole. Experts say the giraffe is suffering from a one-in-a-million deformity, because no such case had ever been seen before. So how does the giraffe eat and drink? While most of the stuff falls out, some of it does make it to the stomach, so the giraffe isn't starving. Although, he does have to do twice the work more than anyone else, just for some food. Three-Legged Lion did you know wild animals see disability as an opportunity? Many animals will hunt the weaklings, which can be injured or disabled. But what happens to an animal that's disabled and a predator? Well, it spends its time feasting on remains left by its fellow wild animals, and hopes it won't be rejected. This three-legged lion was spotted in Uganda and was injured after a poacher attack that left it scarred for life. The poor lion hopped around on its three legs, unable to hunt or move efficiently. Let's hope the lion has a fighting spirit. Hunchback Dog Quasi the Great is a gorgeous German shepherd that quickly became a hot topic because of its back, or lack of it. The hunchback dog suffers from a rare condition called the short spine syndrome, in which the spine is pressed together preventing the animal from arching itself properly. The German Shepherd was astray, probably rejected by its mother, but he soon found a loving home. The people who fostered him named him Quasi the Great, probably after Disney's Quasimodo. Quasi now spends his time frolicking in the garden. 
and is loved by his family. Teeth on head. An Idaho hunter shot a mountain lion after it attacked his dog, but was shocked when he saw an extra set of teeth growing right out of its forehead. This might have been a case of a parasitic twin. It's possible the mountain lion had a twin that never developed in the womb, but left an extra jaw attached to the unborn lion. It's also possible the lion was suffering from a rare cancer which sometimes grows hair or teeth. Whether it was an old twin or a rare disease, the hunter probably put the mountain lion out of its misery. Octogoat. A spider bites a man and makes Spider-Man. But what if it bites a goat instead? This adorable baby goat was born in Croatia and had an extra set of hind and front legs. So basically, it had eight legs. This Croatian goat birth was so rare, it stumped the farmer, who thought he was seeing things and only believed when a neighbor confirmed it. Nicknamed Octogoat, the baby goat was born healthy, but experts said it might not live a normal life, or may not even last long. Who knows? Maybe Octogoat is somewhere in the meadows. Two-nosed dog. What's better than one nose? Two noses, of course. Meet Toby, an adorable pupper that was born with two noses. The Australian Shepherd was roaming the streets of California when he was discovered by Todd Ray, an American record producer known best for the Venice Beach freak show. Ray couldn't believe his eyes when he found Toby and immediately adopted him, especially after finding out Toby would be put down. Not only did Ray save Toby, but also taught us that being different is no crime. As for Toby, the Aussie Shepherd loves sniffing out squirrels and is always successful thanks to his two noses. Mummified Dog Unfortunately, not all dogs get a happy ending. In 1980, a logging crew discovered the mummified remains of a dog stuck deep inside an oak tree. Theories suggest the dog had followed a raccoon up the tree but had gotten stuck and couldn't back out. Stucky, as named by hundreds of people, had two of its paws outward, suggesting it tried to dig out of its misery. But how did the dog remain so well-preserved? Researchers claim it's because of tannins, plant chemicals released by the oak tree, that perfectly soaked the dog. The tannins are also why Stucky couldn't be found, because they completely covered his scent. Sad as it is, we all know Stucky is running with squirrels in dog heaven. Deer with zombie virus. If you ever see a deer running in circles or acting weird, it's best to call the local authorities and have the deer put down. No, you won't be harming the deer, but putting it out of a miserable situation. Chronic wasting disease, or CWD, is a disease that affects the brains of the deer, causing dramatic weight loss, fatigue, and in most cases, causing the deer to go in circles. The disease is also called the zombie virus because it controls the deer's brain and moves it unwillingly. There's no treatment for the horrible disease, which eventually claims the deer's life. Entangled Sea Lion While sighting sea lions, this group of marine explorers found one that was badly injured because of a fishing wire that had wrapped around its neck. The group was able to subdue the sea lion with a mild tranquilizer and decided to remove the wire. But it wasn't an easy task. The wire had completely coiled around the neck and had even pierced the tough skin. Detangling the rope took a few minutes, during which the sea lion was grunting in discomfort. The group reversed the anesthetic's effects and let the sea lion go, which seemed happy and relieved. Ostrich with head stuck. We've all seen ostriches stick their heads into the ground, but sometimes they'll stick it in a place that's not so easy to get out of. This ostrich here got itself into a pickle and amused the kind-hearted woman who rescued it. We don't know where the ostrich got that paper bag, but it poked its head in for fun or maybe out of curiosity, only to realize a while later that getting out wasn't so easy. The sight itself is quite hilarious and simultaneously adorable. Rabid Fox Rabies, one of nature's most destructive diseases. There's no cure for rabies, and it can easily transfer to other animals, and even humans. 
So when these rabid fox cubs were discovered, the guy who found them could do nothing but watch. The rabid fox babies were gnawing at each other, clawing and scratching, and even attempted to eat one another. The horrible sight is just a small glimpse into rabid animals, which shows how truly terrifying and morbid nature can be. I just hope these fox cubs were put down to finally give them peace. Toucan with Broken Beak Do you ever wonder why toucans have a large beak? It's so they can crack seeds and hold big fruits. But this hapless toucan was unable to eat for days after it suffered a massive injury, which took half of its upper beak. Gracia, the toucan, was miserable without the beak and quickly reached the brink of demise when she was taken in by Zoo Ave in Costa Rica's San Jose. The team at Zoo Ave worked to rehabilitate her and astonished the crowd when they gave her a 3D beak prosthetic to survive. After her prosthetic fitting, Gracia is able to eat and happily chitters in the zoo. Fish Inside Fish What this fish experienced is absolutely crazy. First, it was eaten alive by a bigger fish, but it kept breathing. Then it saw a light at the end of the tunnel. Something was cutting out the bigger fish's gut. Perhaps it was a miraculous exit, but the minute it got out, it landed right into another predator's kitchen slab. The journey is so incredible, it even stumped the men who cut into the fish first. The fish certainly deserves to live, so let's hope the men threw it back in the ocean. Squirrel release gone wrong. An injured squirrel was found by some soft-hearted people who nursed it back to health. The family had planned to rehabilitate the squirrel and decided to release it into their backyard when it healed. But it seemed fate was not on the squirrel's side. The minute the squirrel took a fresh breath of air and climbed up a tree, the family cat pounced at it and ran away. Of course, the family was devastated and even shouted after the cat to let it go. But we all know how that turns out. Ah! No! Cougar rescued from trap. There's nothing more terrifying than coming face to face with a cougar. Just thinking about an interaction like that makes my skin crawl with fear. But these brave men willingly approached a cougar and the reason will melt your heart. The cougar had gotten its paw stuck in a bobcat, and although it hissed at the helpers, the men were pretty terrified, but they didn't budge until the cougar was free. Even the cougar didn't believe its luck, and after realizing it was free, quickly vanished from sight. Well, at least we know the trap works. Widowed Tiger. Losing your loved ones is a grief that even animals experience. Bagani, a tiger in the Indian Sariska Reserve, was calling out for her male partner, Rajor, who had disappeared. So the park authorities ventured to find Rajor. Unfortunately, they found Rajor, but he was no longer alive, poisoned by a protective villager. Rajor was never going to return. Sadly, Bagani didn't know what had happened. She could sense his scent and believed he was nearby. By the third day, Bagani was inconsolable. She was now mourning Rajor, and her wails could be heard all over the forest. Predator becomes prey. Hippos are cute, aren't they? Uh, well, hippos are cute, but they can be quite lethal, even when facing one of the most ferocious predators known to man. If you must know, hippos are highly territorial. The minute you step into their turf, going to lose everything. But it seems this lion was quite unaware of that. Sitting atop a floating rock, the lion wasn't even bothering the hippo. But he'd ventured into the restricted territory, unknowingly threatening the hippo. The hippo couldn't let the insult pass and threatened the lion, pushing at the rock until the big cat jumped into the river. Thankfully, the hippo wasn't too angry because it let the lion escape. Otherwise, that lion would have been trampled to death. Buffalo Stampede. Speaking of being trampled, this lion wasn't so lucky. Lions must be kings of the jungle in storybooks, but not here. One such lion experienced the worst when he was caught in a buffalo stampede and the lion failed to escape. 
and was crushed under the buffalo's hooves. But if you believe that lion was just unlucky, you probably don't know how strong buffaloes are. Take a look at this pride of lions. They'd cornered a lone buffalo and were almost close to eating it. But out of the wilderness emerged heroes, a buffalo herd. The herd attacked the lions and even flung one into the air. Lobster fries itself. This lobster was obviously going to become a delicious dinner, but tried its very best to escape. Crawling on the chopping board, the lobster was desperate for a way out. It had seen one last route of escape and was going to take it at all costs. It tried to soak in the nearest water hole, but what seemed like water is actually very hot oil. The poor critter was immediately cooked. And if you laugh at this clip, you, like Mother Nature, have a twisted sense of humor. Turtle breaks pelican's beak. This pelican got itself in a pretty embarrassing position. Pelicans, known for their deep beak, can easily gobble up anything. So when this pelican attempted to eat a turtle, it was not expecting a hard defense. We all know turtles have a hard shell, but you're about to see how tough it actually is. Within moments of being swallowed, the turtle managed to break the pelican's beak without having to do anything. The pelican is understandably shocked and lets go of the turtle, which swam away. A closer look at the bird reveals the turtle left a massive gaping hole in the beak. Rat King This freakish sight is called a rat king and happens when a group of mice crawl over each other and accidentally get their tails tangled. While it seems this is something that mice can easily get out of, it's quite impossible to get out once a mouse is stuck with another. The tails don't just cross each other, but are knotted together at the end, which makes it practically impossible to untie. In fact, most rat kings result in all mice kicking the bucket, and they remain tangled even after they pass away. Bull with three horns. Seeing an extra limb or two might seem unusual to us, but this bull completely rocks his three horns. Seen in India, the bull has an extra horn right in the middle of two, giving it a distinct appearance. Most animals with extra limbs struggle to have a normal life, but this bull might just be benefiting from all this. You see, in the animal kingdom, what matters is who looks the biggest, or in the case of the bull, who has the strongest set of horns. And with an extra horn, this bull certainly leads his buddies. Bull with deformed horn. An extra horn is a sign of strength for bulls, but this bull had a deformity in one of its horns, and if it wasn't fixed in time, it could have easily taken out its own eye. The deformed horn was curled and sticking out, dangerously close to the bull's eye. The people who found the bull had to trim its horn, but this was easier said than done, because even the slightest cut to the wrong angle could severely injure the bull. After a painstaking hour of trimming the horn, the bull was finally freed from a horrible discomfort. Turtle with Fork Folks, it's about time we stop polluting the ocean. Otherwise, this will continue to happen. This poor sea turtle was discovered with a plastic fork up its nose. The fork was so far up the turtle's nose that a mere finger couldn't pull it out. Rescuers from the Leatherback Trust team rescued the turtle. They pinned the turtle to the ground to prevent it from running away, and then used a small prong to gradually pull out the plastic fork. The turtle was released back into the sea. I can only imagine its relief. I bet it felt like that one stuffy nostril finally opening up. Hairless Baby Bunny Have you ever seen a bunny without its distinct coat of fur? Well, you're about to. Meet Uno, a hairless baby bunny living with Idaho's close quarters farm, and it's the most adorable thing ever. Looking uniquely similar to Roger Smith, only much grayer and cuter, Uno spends his time frolicking with his very furry brother. Uno isn't the only bunny in the world without fur. There aren't many, but a few hairless bunnies that live all around the globe. But why are these bunnies furless? Simply because of alopecia and you were worried about that one tiny bald spot. 
buck with another buck's head. Now and then, you'll see something so badass, you'll wonder if Mother Nature really is the soft-spoken figure we make it. This buck was spotted in the wilderness, and it had another buck's head locked on its horns. The sight tells us a tale of a gory battle between two rival bucks who fought for a mate, food, or domination. I mean, at least we can tell who won. And by the looks of it, so does the buck. I bet this metal creature feels like a million bucks. Bubble Eye Goldfish You know what's worse than the cruelty of nature? Us humans. Breeding has always been a controversial topic, and after what we did to pugs, it has definitely taken a turn for the worse. So what seems like a cute, wobbly goldfish isn't really Mother Nature's wonder. The Bubble Eye Goldfish, very well named I might add, is a result of a special type of breeding. And while it looks aesthetic, it's not a healthy breed. The bubble cheeks block the eyes and can even burst under pressure. And if you ever put these in a bigger tank, they are bound to become fish food. Speed of Sloth Evolution can be pretty mean. Where some animals evolved into amazing beings, this animal may have devolved. A sloth is physically unable to move fast, or even normally. Its speed is naturally so slow that you'll get a ton of chores done by the time it crosses the road. People caught this hair-raising moment when a sloth slowly walks past an anaconda. It even manages to crawl on the snake. Luckily, the snake was full from eating before. If it was hungry, that sloth wouldn't have had a chance. Talk about pulling the shortest straw. Jawless Gator Unfortunately, having a deformed body part doesn't pan out well in the animal kingdom. Losing a part of your body means you're an easy lunch. So it's lucky this American alligator was saved in time. Named Trapjaw, the gator was found with half of its upper jaw missing. It had probably lost it in a fight with another gator. It might not seem like a dramatic loss, but for Trapjaw, it could easily be the end of his life. The alligator was moved to a sanctuary, where it was given food and shelter. Trapjaw was so thankful, he even accepted head pats and belly rubs from his caretakers. Goat with the longest ears This is Simba, an adorable kid goat from Karachi, Pakistan. Simba went viral after pictures of his long ears were released. How long, you say? How about a whopping 21 inches on each side? The kid goat might be a stunning creature, but its long ears were constantly coming in between its hooves, hurting the goat any time it stepped on them. Simba's owner, Mr. Narejo, had to fold its ears so they wouldn't become a tripping hazard. Simba's story teaches us that being different isn't always bad. Sometimes, you might even become a popular celebrity. Tortoise that couldn't mate Fighting extinction is a war that many animals are experiencing. And while some have held out victorious, others have not been so lucky. This is George, a tortoise from one of the Galapagos Islands, dubbed Lonesome George because he was the last of his species. Lonesome George was the world's loneliest tortoise because he couldn't find a mate. Conservationists tried to help George mate with females of a different species, but it didn't work out. George passed away at the age of 102 and spent the majority of his life searching for love. Horse Stuck in Swamp Some people were passing by a swamp when they heard painful cries. Following the sound, they discovered a horse stranded in the middle of a muddy swamp. The horse was knee-deep in the mud and was covered head to toe in black grime. In fact, from a distance, you couldn't even tell there was a horse. The group tried to get the horse out by themselves, but failed as it was too heavy. Not giving up, the group called rescue services. The rescue team developed a strategic way to get the horse out safely and quickly got to work. And after hours of grueling effort, the horse was finally pulled out and moved to a nearby branch. Sheep went unsheared for years. This Aussie sheep had run away and gotten lost, and when it was found, it was on the verge of giving up. The poor sheep went six years without being sheared, and it's a good thing it was found before its heavy coat made it impossible for it to move. 
The sheep's woolly coat had gotten so big, it was almost 75 pounds heavy. Just shearing one side alone took an hour. But the caretakers were able to remove all its unnecessary baggage and rehabilitated the sheep in their farm. Deer stuck in ice. Shivering, frozen, and almost passed out, this red deer had fallen into an icy river and was quickly going to succumb to its fate if the Siberian men didn't rescue it. Rescuing the poor thing took a while because the deer was unable to move and weighed a ton. But luckily, the men pulled it out and even let it rest by the fire. Here's another rescue, only a hilarious one. This pitiful deer probably wanted to channel its inner Michelle Kwan, but its hooves were not made for skating. Trapped on ice, the deer couldn't move and had to be dragged by men to its destination. Out of all the things we've seen, this is probably nature's most morbid creature. What you're looking at is a Dinosuchus, a historical monster that walked the Earth millions of years ago. With the Greek words dinos meaning terrible and sukos meaning crocodile, this creature couldn't be more accurately named. The Dinosuchus was extremely massive and was said to feast on big, great white sharks, other humongous animals, and even dinosaurs. Thankfully, the nearest thing to a Dinosuchus today is its cousin, the alligator. But if it was roaming the earth today, I'm not so confident we'd be alive. So let's be thankful this is one of the few species that did go extinct. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe to us and keep watching our channel for more awesome content. Don't forget to press that bell icon so you never miss a video. Thank you once again.